Looks like you're having a little trouble there. Let's see, you're from Texas too. Where are you headed? Sir, I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Well, the name's Jim. I got a shop up the road. I could drag your car in with me. I could take a look and see what's going on. Get you back up the road. What do you say? Do you trust old Jim here? Trust me. I've been doing this a long time. The tow truck driver. Do not break down. <laughs> hey folks, this is Cliff, Kissy Boy Smith. It's been a while since I've shot a video and I've brought anything onto my channel. And I figured I'd uh, show you what I've been working on the last month or two, I guess you'd say. Uh, well, I just, well, I would say I just completed this, but I busted this out. I've had this in, in my stash for over, over a year. And um, after I finished that uh, Fixer Upper Dodge Dart, I decided I wanted to have something to go along with that. And I uh, went ahead and uh, got this one from start to finish completed. Um, hopefully I did a lot. I did shoot some pictures and stuff and a little bit of video earlier for one of my little movie montages. Hopefully you understand it and it'll be, it'll be okay or cool or whatever. <laughs> but I, I worked on this one and then more recently I've started on this here. Uh, the 66 Chevy Fleet Side pickup which I've had this one for well over a year. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby a while ago and I had ideas for it and then I was like hmm I don't know if I can do that <laughs> so I've been kinda waiting to polish my skills to do what I want to do with this one but I'll show you everything I've worked on on this one in this video so uh, let's just get off of this and get you to what I've been working on and there it is 1977 GMC uh, Wrecker uh, I started this like immediately after I started the uh, after I finished the the dart. And, uh, since I had done that one as a weathered, weathered car, I decided that I would do this truck to go along with it. And I, I even included a driver to go in it. And I recognize old Jim. He's the one that sold me that dart in the last video. <laughs> right, I just wanted um, to have it. I had seen this in the stash. I wanted to make sure make sure that I did build it. And. Uh, I decided to do it weathered, dented up, and, and a little rusty. And with this, it's, uh, it's an old tow truck that uh, Jim goes out to help people with. And uh, it's got these people standing on the side of the road. And you decide if he's creepy or not. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I've been collecting these American diorama figures. And uh, but having fun with them, they're gonna help with uh, with the videos that I shoot. Hopefully, hopefully bring them, <coughs> excuse me, bring them to a little bit more realism. But um, I'd uh, just to explain what I did with this truck. I guess I I um, used the salting method to get the uh, the rust patches and everything. But then I I remember I'd seen an old video or a video with uh, Dr. Cranky where he used this stuff called the white mask. It's kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's, it's like a more heavy duty uh, Elmer's glue, I guess you'd say. But it's used to, to mask uh, things off and I use some of that. So when you peel it off, if you have the rusty uh, surface underneath, it'll kind of peel off and leave the, leave the paint just a little bit like uh, jagged, like the paint's flaking off. Uh, I used some various, uh, to me a primer, uh, to, to me a powder rather to get the uh, the dustiness on here I wanted it to look like the cab had been you know basically been through hell but the, the wrecker had this the wrecker body had to stay in good condition because it's still working but, um, that's the uh, 77 GMC it took me about maybe about two weeks to build this if you follow me on, on Facebook then you you've seen this thing most 
recent project that I've been working on. It's the uh, 66 Chevy Fleet Line. Uh, I've had this for this kit for over a couple of years now, I'm sure. And uh, when I first bought it, it was like I really wanted to have a nice low down cruising truck with a modern power plant and some, you know, some nice wheels. Uh, so the wheels and a lot of the uh, um, I guess good good parts, <laughs> the motor and interior portions and mirrors, all come from a modern Camaro. These wheels are actually from the uh, Snap Together Concept Camaro, the the one that's like kind of a limey green on the uh, on the box. And these seats are from a Maestro uh, diecast Camaro, but I don't think I'm going to use these seats because I don't like how the uh, the backs are. They were they were kind of hollowed out, and I tried to make a back to them. I mean, I could probably fix it, but meh, don't want to do that. Work smarter, not harder. I got the ones from the uh, the snap together kit. Just need to get those together. I'm gonna use these instead. Uh, that's my plan for that. Um, as far as under the hood, I have the uh, 2010 uh, Camaro power plant in this. And I'll actually see if I can throw up some still pictures of a, how I modified the frame and everything to get that to fit in there. But it fits, like Ace Ventura would say, like a glove. Yeah. Once it's painted up, it should look good. I'm trying to think ahead on things rather than just, you know, slapping paint on things and then, uh, you know, wonder myself later, why the hell didn't I, you know, plan ahead <laughs> before, I, before I painted it. So I'm trying to get all the bare bones down before I start painting anything. And there, uh, you probably can see in the background the van is over there. I've been looking at that one, trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but I'll get back to that. This one's got my attention at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, I've been debating back and forth on what color to paint it, and I actually decided to go to uh, the Chevy man himself, the uh, master of these uh, Chevy trucks. So, Pappy Fred Henry, and uh, he gave me some recommend recommendations that uh, he thought would look good on this, so I might take him up on, uh, on some of his ideas. Uh, one of the two of the things that I've done on here, uh, I, I didn't want to have a back bumper on it, so I've made this little roll pan here. Uh, it still needs to be smoothed out and everything. And the white plastic's probably not picking up on the camera. There, there we go, you can see it a little bit. Uh, I decided to put a roll pan in here. And these wheels do not settle down in here without cutting the wheel wells. So I had to cut the wheel wells out of the bed. And I used the old method of, uh, you know, pill bottles and so on. And uh, I haven't gotten around to painting those. If they're in there, good. But I looked at it and I was like, huh. I really don't want to have those wheel wells uh, exposed. So I went and fashioned a, uh, a tonneau cover here. So that will be part of this. Anyway, that's what your boy Cliff Smith's been working on these days. Um, hopefully this one will start, if the, if the weather keeps up like it's been, it's been in the 60s and 70s, uh, the past couple of days. So I want to try and get the body work done on this and start getting some paint on it. But um, this is where we're at right now. I'll throw up some still pictures uh, at the end of this video, hopefully, in regards to this. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching, commenting subscribing and uh, hopefully more good things will be coming in the future all right y'all take care now and uh, we don't get another video out have a Merry Christmas
trust me, I've been doing this a long, long 